Good morning, everybody. Today's trade was oil CL over here. This was a almost perfect textbook market profile trade again. So I was watching. I changed my 50-day simple move at average to white. It's a little easier to see when I'm looking at all these different markets right here. So what I was watching, pre-market had a lot of down pressure, but at market open there was this must be a level right here I was watching order flow and it just kept pushing up and up so what I was thinking it was going to do was test this uh, simple moving average right here but it didn't it broke right on through and then I was thinking it was going to test the value area low but it didn't it broke right on through so on this candle right here it it got in this area and it just stopped. You know, it had a big pressure up, but it came right back down. So this was that level right here, and it just lingered here for probably it lingered here almost for 30, 35 minutes or somewhere, and then it came down and the uh, uh, moving average started acting as support. And it just kept lingering in this area here. So my thought process was it is actually going to come back into value area. And all I needed for it to do was just close in a value area before the 80% 80, 80 rule came into effect. So I was looking for a long. Normally it would be on this close, but this is where order flow really comes in handy. I was looking for a long and when it broke up above this because it was lingering in this particular area between 1525 and 1532 for a long time but when it broke above it broke above quick and order flow the buyers really started coming in so I went ahead and bought 20 box spreads at 52 I got it when it broke right in here at 52.38 with the spread it actually entered the trade at 52.51 and I had set my stop at the bottom this red uh, area here this is current value areas that's actually a uh, current point of control area so I set my stop right here at 52 uh, right there on the 50 day moving average 52.19 so all I was watching for then was was it would it be able to penetrate the point of control in that settlement line right there so 80% rule was in effect when this bar closed it closed way up here at 52.67 and at that point I moved my stop up to uh, my uh, I moved it up to break even at 52 it was 52.51 with the spread so I moved my stop right there now I set my take profit order at 52.88 just one tick below this value area high level and, and I just kind of waited it out and next bar it actually hit so it took a minute for it to hit though because it was actually lingering right there around 52.85 and kept jumping back and forth right there around settlement but it breached it uh, breached all the way up here to 52.97 I took profit at 52.88 and that is a total of 37 ticks I believe it is uh, let me double check uh, 88 minus 51. Yeah, 37 ticks. So 20 bull spreads from 52, 51 up to 52, 88. Uh, 37 ticks, a dollar, uh, dollar a tick. So you can do the math on that one. Uh, pretty good. Uh, use of the market profile on that one so I'm out of this trade now it is now 1157 Eastern Standard Time I may look for another trade but typically I don't or right around lunchtime um, so we'll see what happens but alright guys that's my trade for the day and I will see you later